I don't mean to be blasphemous, but Elden Ring, one of my fa- hell, Elden Ring is my favorite game of all time, and not too far behind it is Bloodborne. However, I was playing this game, No Rest for the Wicked, this weekend, and I'm not here to tell you they beat From Software at their own game. But they do one thing, which I never expect a From Software game to do. I get why From Software game will never do it, but it does make the combat so much better. And then they also do a couple of things that for a guy like me, that as much as I love the Bloodborne and the Elden's Rings, I find them a little bit too punishing, a little bit too difficult. I know, I know, you can level up, you can learn, blah, 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 I get it. But this is going to be a much more joyful game for me to finish. Here are the two things. No, is it two? There might even be a third, I don't know. And betwixt this intro I'm about to play with lots of music and shit, I might think of the third one. Here we go. tell you the first thing that i enjoy the combat more in this game no rest for the wicked is the camera perspective is the combat better i don't know but when i fight enemies in bloodborne or elden ring part of the challenge is just having to keep them in my line of sight enough that i can tell what they're about to do so I can block or roll or dodge or attack, right? And I get it. That becomes part of the training. That becomes part of how you get good at that game. But what is so wonderful about playing a Souls-like game from this perspective is you can actually see what the enemies are doing at all times for the most part. And I get it. It's not as immersive. But here's what you have to understand. When you first look at this game, you would be forgiven if you assume what it's just like Diablo. It's not, at least so far. The number of enemies you fight at any one time, it's not hordes of enemies. Most of them, high hit points, a lot of damage. It is deliberate. Your combat is deliberate. Your your battles are deliberate. You have to worry about stamina. You have to worry about positioning. You have to worry about the time it takes for your attack to go off. You've got to be able to check the tells of the enemy. There are limited in the amount of guys you fight And in that, and in the way the guys are tuned, it makes it more like a Diablo perspective, but a from software game in terms of combat. And when you have that camera, even though I die in this game a lot, it's a challenging game, not once have I ever died in this game and felt, oh, that wasn't my fault. It's always my fault in this game. A lot of times I'll get hit from a attack in Elden Ring from behind or uh, roll around to look at the guy and then suddenly uh, he's already in the process of throwing a projectile at me. And I get it, over time you learn to deal with that with sound cues and things like that. But there is something so refreshing about having the camera pulled back that allows you to really make smart decisions and when you make mistakes they feel like yours i think this is better i would not want from software to change uh this becomes a very difficult game the minute you pull the camera back you're going to lose some of your audience that's just the way it is uh but from a pure gameplay standpoint i absolutely prefer combat this way i wonder if there's a mod there has to be a mod uh for some of the from games where they do detach the camera i I wonder how much better i would be at those I, i should try one of those out Here are the two things this game does that hardcore from guys are probably not going to appreciate or like or care about. And I'm sure it's early access. It would not surprise me if they don't add a harder mode for people who want this. But here's the two things it does that allows me as a at best average gamer who just loves games, but I'm not great at them. And my reflexes, I get older, I'm 53, are getting worse. I love the fact in this game that when you kill an enemy, they stay dead. So at least now that guy's dead. So it's not like, oh, I almost killed that guy and now I got to go back and refight eight guys to get to that guy. And I get it. I get the, the, the tension that gives you. I get the, the fear. I, I've often said, and I still believe it, that it's not Resident Evil. It's not Silent Hill. The scariest games are the ones made by From Software in terms of not thematically, although they can come close, but in that... That tension and that fear you feel when you are so close to dying 
and you've you know you've got a bunch of fucking souls or gems or blood so whatever the fuck those things are you know you're going to lose those and you know you're going to have to come back and fight a bunch of the same guys again and you barely made it here the first time that tension is wonderful but i can only handle so much of that and in this game it's wonderful to have this is almost like it, it's a souls game and it's not it's still not an easy game it's, it's definitely a core game but it's a souls like game that is a little friendlier in terms of the camera, like I said earlier, and also the ability to kill someone and once they're dead, they're dead. Granted, you die, there are punishments for that. You have to go back to certain places. Uh, you'll, your weapons will degrade a bit here and there. But fundamentally, you can kind of baby step your way and make progress. Whereas on a Souls game up until now, that's been, I don't think you could ever do that in a game like that. So I love that, but I get hardcore Souls guys won't. I don't know what the logic was or the philosophy was when the team made this game in the sense that are they just like, you know, Souls is cool, but let's make it a little more welcoming. I don't know if that was the intent, but so far in early access, that's what they've done. I absolutely love it. Still want to play Elden Ring the DLC. I still need to finish Elden Ring, my favorite game of all time. I'm almost done and can't beat this one boss. It's a different video. I'll tell you later. Point being, though, uh, whatever caused no rest for the wicked developers to make these changes and these to tune the game this way while i could see hardcore guys asking for changes in early access and i'd love for them to get a mode i hope to god they stay on this path because here's what i guarantee you i would have returned this game already i just don't have the patience for another uh fucking game like this right now especially with dlc elden coming out so the fact that this is a a, a more welcoming souls game but it's still a souls game is awesome i highly recommend this game See what I'm saying? That's some good shit.